On 30th of October 2006, the President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, launched Sakshat, which is a free portal that provides a much needed solution to educational requirements of learners from all age groups and all fields of study, including vocational education and the learning of life skills. The auditorium of Indian National Science Academy, New Delhi, was the venue for the launch of Sakshat. The program began with the arrival of the President Dr. A.B.J. Abdul Kalam, the Minister of Human Resource Development Sri Arjun Singh, the Minister of State Sri Muhammad Ali Ashraf Fatimi, the Secretary Higher Education Sri Sudeep Kumar Banerjee, the Joint Secretary Distance Learning Sri N.K. Sinha and other dignitaries. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Ministry of Human Resource Development, I extend a warm welcome to you all on this historic moment, on the landmark initiative of the Ministry with the launch of its educational portal, Sakshat, which will provide a new dimension to teaching learning transaction at all possible levels. It's a great honor to have the great visionary his Excellency, the President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam with us today. Following the tradition of welcoming, I'll request a student of Kendra Vidyalaya, Master Abhish Ashish Kare, to please present a bouquet of flowers to His Excellency as our gratitude for his presence today. It's our privilege to have Honorable Minister of Human Resource Development Mr. Arjun Singh with us today. I'll request Master Abhishek Sharma to please present a bouquet of flowers as a welcome gesture to Arjun Singh Ji. Also, we have the pleasure of having Shri Muhammad Ali Ashraf Fatimi, Minister of State for Human Resource Development with us. I'll request Master Mukul to please present a bouquet of flowers to Shri Fatmi. The inspiration behind the initiation and development of this portal is our own Educational Secretary, Shri Sudeep Banerjee. I request Ms. Ankita Pathak to please present a bouquet of flowers to him. The guiding force, the hard taskmaster behind this portal is our own joint Secretary, Distance Learning, Shri N. K. Sinha. I request Ms. Basanti to please present a bouquet of flowers to Mr. Sinha. Mr. Sudeep Kumar Banerjee, Secretary, Higher Education, welcomed the dignitaries on the historic occasion. Respected Rashtrapati Ji, respected Arjun Singh Ji, DHR, the Minister, respected Fatmi Ji, my colleague N.K. Sena Ji, distinguished guests in this morning's function, students, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a matter of great pride for me here to welcome our beloved Rashtrapati Ji. It is in his person he personifies 
both the capabilities of human knowledge and technology together with a very big imagination. The motto that we have given to our program is what our great Buddha said, Atma Deepo Bhava, be a lamp unto yourself. We want each of our citizens to be a lamp unto himself. This is the great promise of our freedom struggle, of our republic and of our founding fathers of that republic that each citizen in this country will get an equal opportunity to realize his full human potential. Sri Muhammad Ali Ashraf Fatmi, Minister of State, addressed the select audience and stressed on the importance of knowledge and the need to provide education to all. Learning is a lifelong process and we all are learners. Sometimes we are in need of learning something and at other times we require some other piece of knowledge. In our fast moving knowledge society, what we learn today is fast overwritten by expanding vistas of knowledge. If we want to search ahead as a knowledge superpower, we have to constantly on towards in our pursuit of knowledge and excellence. Simultaneously, we also have to ensure that no one in our country is left out in this race where knowledge is going to reign supreme. We need to uh, nurture every talent in our country to its fullest potential. It is in this backdrop that the one stop education portal called Sakshat has been designed. Turning these dreams into reality is the biggest challenge for all of us today. And we have taken the first step with the launch of the pilot project of Sakshat. In his address, the Minister of Human Resource Development, Sri Arjun Singh, reiterated the government's commitment towards taking education to all. Sakshat was an effort at expanding boundaries. The efforts of MHRD in this field are geared towards creating an open house for knowledge. The approach is to scrupulously avoid reinventing the wheel. What is being attempted is harnessing of a large number of knowledge resources in a manner that adds value to them by making them more personalized and useful to the lifelong learner. The effort also involves content back packaging and integration to suit specific needs of the students at various levels and talents mental prowess. The project is being implemented with the collaborative effort of a large number of institutions such as the IIC Bangalore, IGNO, NIC, Learn and Express from universities and schools, many MNCs and private players as IBM, Sun, Microsystem, Google, etc. in the field of education providers. This portal is expected to be one of the important pillars of the proposed national mission on education during the 11th five-year plan. This proposed mission is also expected to address the requirement of providing broad-based access to every Indian with zero charge for the bandwidth if this portal and its links are a sex development of low cost affordability and appropriate access devices having very low power consumption would be yet another challenge for the mission. As I have already stated early that it is a matter of great pride for us to have our president who himself has been a great educator and an eminent scientist 
of a very high esteem. On this occasion, I shall request him to bless this project and provide his valuable guidance. I would like to avail this opportunity to congratulate team implementing the project and wish for the success of this noble project so that large student community, including those living in remotely located places, could get the benefit of the project. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time for the historic launch of the portal Sakshat. It's a great honor that today this portal is being launched by His Excellency, the President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who is not only the first citizen of the country, but also a great teacher. A teacher who believes in imparting every spectacle of knowledge to each and every child of the country. The most significant aspect of his vision as a teacher is his concern for the weak students, more than perhaps for the super achievers. I request His Excellency, the President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, to launch the portal Sakshat. Friends, my greetings to all of you. It is a beautiful occasion. And uh, uh, Sakshat, indeed, I, I would like to uh, inaugurate. And how many students are here? Please lift your hand. How many students are here? Okay. Good number. Okay. Very good. Because I am going to converse with you. That's why. Now I have uh, inaugurated this fellow. <laughs> now I like to greet um, Honorable Sri Arjun Singh Ji and uh, Honorable Sri Muhammad Ali Ashraf Fatmi Ji, Fatmi Ji, Sri Sudip Kumar Banerjee and uh, Sri Sinha all the distinguished guests, uh, friends and my dear students. Now, because students are there, I thought I will do some interesting thing, okay? Now, uh, see, I have to, first of all, I am a student now, okay? Okay, you assume I am a student. I am trying to log in my ID, okay? ID I am logging. Okay, next one, I go to password, B, Z, Z, okay. Okay, now let us see the sign. Yes. Okay, now I have got, uh, now I am going to, you know, I have got uh, the page. Now I will go to the class, virtual class, okay. I will go to the virtual class. Now, virtual class, what subject we select, you know? We have to select a subject, you know? Number of subjects are there. I am going to select my favorite field, eh? Unless you guys have got, I will select physics, okay? Uh, physics I have selected. Now, physics itself you find, eh? Number of subjects are there, okay? Number of subjects are there. In physics, I am going to select what? Can you guess? I am going to select gravitation, okay? I select the gravitation. Now you have got four uh, quadrant. In the gravitation itself there are many subjects, right? There are many subjects. Like Kepler's law there, universal law of gravitation is there, gravitational constant there. There are many things are there. My favorite area is escape speed, okay? So I hit the, okay? I hit the escape speed. Now the escape speed Now it is defined the escape speed. Let us see how it is defined the escape speed, okay? Let us see how it is defined. Now you can see the escape speed here. You know, it is defined. The minimum speed, you read it? Minimum speed required for an object to reach infinity. That is not correct, eh? Actually, to object to reach, no? Escape from the earth gravitational field. That is the correct definition, okay? Now, now let us see. How would it be represented? How it is represented? Now I am going to the whole thing, gravitational field, how between the two bodies, how would they represent? Now, okay, now it is a 
the whole equation represented in the form of uh, a diagram okay a diagram now uh, friends i am going to uh, see i will close this fellow i will close this fellow i will close this fellow and go to image okay image i have got questions you know i will ask some questions okay what did so far what you learned what is the question okay the question is okay this question how it is defined energy is defined you can see this fellow this is wrongly defined you know g gravitational constant m small m mass of the satellite and uh, um, then uh, we have uh, great m that is the mass of the earth and then r is the radius of the earth but uh, i feel there is something wrong okay something wrong let us see what is the right uh, let us see the right uh, right answer let us see the right answer right answer should be they have derived it's a beautifully done 3 uh, gm m 4 r this is the right answer okay addressing the august gathering the scientist president of a country shared his thoughts of how most of education needs to change with a changing society Sakshat is a step forward in this direction. A knowledge society enriches information society through innovation. Information society enriches agriculture and manufacturing through value addition. And uh, thus the societal transformation is enabled by economic growth and knowledge society. Now I would since uh, the audience, uh, mixed audience, I thought I must share with you how the society is changing and uh, also how the education has to suit now when the world was moving from the industrial to information and knowledge era we witnessed a changing pattern in the sectoral sectoral share of gdp and the number of people employed in each sector the sectoral share of gross domestic product percentage has undergone a considerable change contribution of agriculture to india's gdp has reduced from 39% to 22% during the period 1979 to 2005 during the same period contribution of manufacturing sector has moved from 24% to 27% and whereas the contribution from the service sector has increased from 37% to 51% there has been a considerable change in the employment pattern also the percentage of people employed in agriculture has come down to 64% to 54% simultaneously the percentage of people employed in manufacturing has gone up from 15% to 19% and in the service sector that is including it 20 to 27% this trend has continued by 2020 our employment pattern should aim at 44% in agriculture 21% in manufacturing and 35% in service sector of course manpower reduction in agriculture has to be met with increased technological input the displacement of a 10% people from the agriculture sector has to be facilitated through skill enabling for undertaking value added task in the rural enterprises so that migration to urban area is reduced Use the person from the rural areas going to urban towns in search of jobs in manufacturing service sectors or poor facilities that is urban providing urban amenities to rural areas creation of employment in the rural area itself poor achieves this by providing physical electronic and knowledge connectivities to a cluster of villages thereby leading to their economic connectivity and prosperity later the president also interacted with the students subjects are non believers but you uh, your uh, uh, but your highness has a unique blend of spiritualism spiritualism and ritualism how you have achieved that well you see uh, first of all i had uh, i had uh, uh, parents okay my father lived 103 years my mother lived 93 years okay Uh, both of them i used to see them 
they go for namas five times, you know. They look angelic, that home, you know, spread the home. Second thing is the, the, I have a, I happened to one experience when I was uh, working in Indian Space Research Organization. The Christian community uh, gave the church to the Indian Space uh, Research for a scientific research. And this is, I have not heard of uh, in the country and the world. And it happened in 1960, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, when he wanted a place to do the scientific research on equatorial problems, an electronic jet, and uh, uh, he went to the bishop of that place, and uh, bishop was surprised, he is asking his house, God's house, church, and uh, the children's, uh, that is his children is a fisherman folk, uh, houses, thousands. And the way, the next day in Sunday, in the mass church, he addressed, I still I remember, he addressed the people who come for uh, congregation. He said, uh, here is a scientist, and uh, science, what science does to the people, it gives light to electricity, and it gives a high production of the food, and the fishermen folk, they can process the fish and market it. So science is helpful to the human being, material wealth it gives. What I do as a preacher, Bishop says, what I, Bishop Peter Perira's name, in 1960s it happened. As a preacher I pray for my people for happiness and peace in life. So science for a material welfare, material wealth, and uh, whereas the religion uh, really looks for the peace of the mind, the peace of uh, life. This when he said, then he asked to oh children, can we give this church for scientific research? And they said all Amen within a minute, they said, and I worked in the church. I worked in the church. Of course we built a new church, new facilities. But what means, means is how a scientist and a religious leader, they became a good human beings, they said the welfare of a human being is the focus rather than anything else. So I saw religion transforming into a spiritual force. I saw myself, you know, I saw how the uh, Professor Vikram Sarabhai and uh, Reverend Father Peter Perida, the good human being, spiritualism and uh, religion and science, they merged uh, at good human effect uh, and uh, and science has come today, any type of rockets we can design, any type of spacecraft we can design. Thank you, Vachita, you asked a beautiful question. Okay. Thank you, sir, thank you so much. Your deeds have been our inspiration, your words are karma. Your concern has been for the weakest of the weak, poorest of the poor, and your Stress has been on imparting highest of the higher education to each learner through the most effective mode of communication. Sir, we thank you for blessing us, for enlightening us with your vision, and for explaining us the use of Sakshat. Sir N.K. Sinha Joint Secretary, Distance Learning felt that the opening of this portal was the beginning of a journey and expressed his gratitude to all those who had come forward in making this dream come true. Respected His Excellency, the President of India, Sir, Honorable Minister for Human Resource Development, Honorable Minister of State, HRD, Respected Education Secretary, Respected Heads of the Educational Institutions, Members of the Print and Electronic Media, Members of the Content Advisory Committees, distinguished guests and students. First of all, I express my heartfelt gratitude and thanks to our beloved President for sparing his time to inaugurate the pilot project of Sakshat portal and also the Pan IIT portal. We all are deeply indebted to him for his kind guidance and morale boosting to do some path-breaking work for the development of human resource of our country. The inspiration that we have received from him today will motivate us to put in more and more efforts to make available personalized 
world class content in all subject areas as well as life skills touching the life of every indian citizen even on the other side of the digital divide in this journey we have been backed by the scientific advisory council to the prime minister and encouraged by the active participation of the group of professors of iisc bangalore led by professor L n balakrishnan my heartfelt thanks to all of them national informatics center working with ibm with emphasis on the scalable production version of sakshat deserve my thanks in fact for the programming and presenting of the portal they have been constructively competing with ignu and arnet who have designed and delivered the parallel stream of sakshat with research orientation and agility the teachers and the students of kendriya vidyalaya sangathan who have been going through the contents of the portal at various stages of its development and have been sending the feedback through emails to me deserve my sincere thanks for their useful comments i am also deeply thankful to all those who have shown keen interest in joining this movement to ensure that every talent of our country is nurtured to its fullest potential for us the challenges have just begun as the portal gets accessed by more and more learners the diverse demands would have to be met given the dream of reaching at least 50 crore indians the portal calls for wikipedia kind of collaborative endeavor from every intellectual and skilled person of the country including the nris i appeal to everyone to contribute their knowledge expertise and skills to this effort of nation building through the vehicle like sakshat which has the motto atma deepo bhava sakshat is a promise it is a promise of bringing educational resource to the masses with the help of information technology it is a promise to make education and information more accessible to more people